Chapter 5 Expressions from Beginners Hundreds of persons have realized that visualizing is an Aladdin's lamp to him with a mighty will. General Foch says that his feelings were so outraged during the Franco-Prussian War in 1870 that he visualized himself leading a French army against the Germans to victory. He said he made his picture, smoked his pipe and waited. This is one result of visualizing we are all familiar with. A famous actress wrote a long article in one of the leading Sunday papers last winter describing how she rid herself of excessive body fat and weight by seeing her figure constantly as she wished it to be. A very interesting letter came to me from a doctor's wife while I was lecturing in New York. She began with the hope that I would never discontinue my lectures on visualization, making humanity realize the wonderful fact that they possess the method of liberation within themselves. Relating her own experience, she said that she had been born on the east side of New York in the poorest quarter. From earliest girlhood, she had cherished a dream of marrying a physician some day. This dream gradually formed a stationary mental picture. The first position she obtained was in the capacity of a nursemaid in a physician's family. Leaving this place, she entered the family of another doctor. The wife of her employer died, and in time the doctor married her, the result of her long pictured yearning. After that, both she and her husband conceived the idea of owning a fruit farm in the south. They formed a mental picture of the idea and put their faith in its eventual fulfilment. The letter she sent me came from their fruit farm in the south. It was while at the farm that the doctor's wife wrote me. Her second mental picture had seen the light of materialization. Many letters of a similar nature come to me every day. The following is a case that was printed in the New York Herald last May. Atlantic City, May 5th. She was an old woman, and when she was arraigned before Judge Clarence Goldenberg in the police court today, she was so weak and tired she could hardly stand. The judge asked the court attendant what she was charged with. "'Stealing a bottle of milk, Your Honour,' repeated the officer. "'She took it from the doorstep of a downtown cottage before daybreak this morning.' "'Why did you do that?' Judge Goldenberg asked her. "'I was hungry,' the old woman said. "'I didn't have a cent in the world and no way to get anything to eat except to steal it. "'I did not think anyone would mind if I took a bottle of milk.' "'What's your name?' asked the judge. "'Weinberg,' said the old woman. "'Elizabeth Weinberg.' Judge Goldenberg asked her a few questions about herself. Then he said, Well, you're not very wealthy now, but you're no longer poor. I've been searching for you for months. I've got $500 belonging to you from the estate of a relative. I'm the executor of the estate. Judge Goldenberg paid the woman's fine out of his own pocket and then escorted her into his office, where he turned the legacy over to her and sent a policeman out to find her a lodging place. I learned later that this little woman had been desiring and mentally picturing $500, while all the time ignorant of how it could possibly come to her, but she kept her vision and strengthened it with her faith. In the recent edition of Good Housekeeping, there was an article by Addington Bruce entitled, Stiffening Your Mental Backbone. It is very instructive and would benefit anyone to read it. He says, in part, Form the habit of devoting a few moments every day to thinking about your work in a large, broad, imaginative way, as a vital necessity to yourself and a useful service to society. Huntington, the great railway magnet, before he started building his road from coast to coast, said that he took hundreds of trips all along the line before there was a rail laid. It was said that he would sit for hours with the map of the United States before him and mentally travel from coast to coast, just as we do now, over his fulfilled mental picture. It would be possible to call your attention to hundreds of similar cases. The best method of picturing to yourself that which you may desire is both simple and enjoyable, if you once understand the principle back of it well enough to believe it. First, and above everything else, be sure of what it is you really want then specialise your desire along these lines. End of chapter 5